when I was looking at some of your stuff, I loved the name. Like, obviously, I can't say, but I love the name of your show. Like, <laughs> the simplicity of it. It's like, yeah, you know exactly well, what you're getting. Well, the mission is to actually get to get more white people uh, to say it. That'll take right, away man. that. Yeah, because it's, it's really just a cool word. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just really a cool word. There's lots of contemplations to it, but, you know, just one day, probably around like yeah. 2025 or something, or 2050 or something like that, everybody will be just like, you know. It's like that in general with so many bits of language, isn't it? Though? Like, I'm not going to say it just for the simple fact that I'm already getting enough shit over the last few months. Like, I'm just coming out of being able to get on stage again now, so. <laughs> right, yeah, uh, no, you don't want yeah, to shit on yourself, you know. And like, no, no, no. I'll be there for you. Yeah, we're, like, no one's going to care that I said it was okay for you to say it. No one, no, it's, it, it's that's the f***ing part of it. When he said I could. Never... Hello, Internet. This is the KD Comedy Party with everybody's favorite KD Hinkin. You dig? In three, two, one. Good and welcome everybody to another episode of the In Your House Comedian Podcast, a show where I sit down with a fellow funny friend from around the comedy circuit. I am everybody's favorite KD Hinkin, and this week I've got somebody. We wanted to branch out a little bit for the new season when we branched out literally to the other side of the world, pretty much, almost. Well, kind of, yeah, close enough. You're like right the other side of um, America, if I'm correct. It is Jay Coldwater. Welcome into the show. How are you, sir? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, fucking I'm good. Up. I'm actually from, uh, from, uh, uh, I'm not really American, man. I'm, I'm actually, I'm from Haiti. Okay, so yeah, I meant to say, so you're living in America now, aren't you? Yeah. No, I'm kidding, man. I'm from I'm, I'm, I'm Las Vegas, Nevada, man. <laughs> Catch us uh, randomly on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It is the Two Niggas Smoking Weed podcast, uh, Two NSW, aka the Four Blunt Show, brought to you by Two Niggas Smoking Weed. Shout out to uh, our entire staff. I actually, Tec- went, technically, I was, I'm I'm like a Nordic or something. You can tell by the forehead look. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I know. Yeah. You, you look English. Like, uh, Nordics like um Dutch like Vikings or them lot. Yeah. Ah, yeah, okay. I, I see, yeah, the forehead, yeah, yeah. yeah. The ones that banged in the end of falls a lot, basically, That's... we're finding out now. <laughs> like straight up. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, so uh Las Vegas, what did you said? Yes, sir. I can't imagine what it's like to go there. We're saying just before, like with the bud man, like yeah, it's it's not legal over here at all. I would love to have it like you guys have it. I would love that. It's 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 actually uh it's I put it like this. It was cool at first. It was cool at right. first, you know, being able to like you know buy weed, you know, what I'm saying go like you know go to a shop, we'll buy some exactly. smoke, come home, you know, what I'm saying yeah. But it, the the rules aren't as lax as everybody think they are, and now it's just like it's kind of boring now. I wish it was illegal again. I miss <laughs> miss, miss the <laughs> miss looking around my shoulder like. Like mm-hmm. is that is that the cops over there? Hurry up and yeah, roll that. Yeah, you know, yeah. I miss I miss those days. I, I, you know, Chris, me if you were I, still in it, you probably wouldn't. No, I mean, yeah. The moment they went back, I'd be like, damn it! I'd be like, <laughs> no, but now I got to go back to the back alley and go talk to people I don't really like. And yeah, you know, it's the whole. For me, it's more like the um the beauty of being able to, uh, not so much being able to do it freely because I think most people just do it in the house anyway, don't they? Or uh, well, I don't know. Well, that's the that's the thing. It's like, like full legalization would be I could just step outside and just walk down the street and just you know yeah. and just flow away, you know. But I can't go. Uh, I can't just go outside. I have to buy it. I can only smoke at home or on my oh. own property. Yeah, yeah. So it's not as it's the. I didn't realize lax, that. Yeah, no, it's not as lax as we think it is. Um, oh, is is that all over? Is because I know it's one of those things, isn't it, where different states can like make their own rules? Is this? Yeah, every state is different. Like, uh, uh, like our neighbors to the west here, uh, California. Um, yeah, it's about damn near. They can just walk outside. You know. Uh, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke there and stuff like that. It's it's real. It's, yeah, it's it's real lax out there. But our weed is better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a hold on. That's debatable though, isn't it? Because one person's better weed can be somebody else's. Like. Mm. I prefer this too. I've had this debate a few times over here. This is that's what I try and explain to my. Uh, I don't know if you can see my background back there, but the little chubby dude over my right shoulder here—that's my comedy partner, uh, uh, Joe Roy Kaiser. And I tell him all the time, like, "Hey, man, uh, you know, the only reason why you're not getting high off that anymore is because you only smoke that." 
Gotta, Very true. Yeah. Some other shit to yeah, yeah. You need to. Um, I, I see it as like a buffet. That's why it's lovely now because over here, like up until recently, like you couldn't really pick much. But then, you know, for people say that would use the dark web, for example, then all of a sudden you can get choices. You can get all different kinds. If I was so inclined to do that, I could be right now smoking a beautiful bubble gum smoke that is, you know, when one just you, you taste it and it's just like, oh, it's just a better quality to your throat, like straight away. You can just oh, feel oh, yeah. this. Look, look, I, 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 I have, I have smoked some weed. I, I smoked some uh, as a young man. Uh, mm. We got some uh, Afghan Kush here in the states. Yeah, uh, yeah. Randomly, and I got a hold to it. And, I, and to this day, I tell people, I was like, man, you haven't smoked it. You smoke some foreign shit. It's like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I mean? like, like I mean, I've had Afghan since then, but it's like, like that was our first time smoking some weed that was not grown in my country. And I was oh, like, okay. yo, yo, this is okay. <laughs> yeah, there's like nothing, nothing like it. I was like, okay, well then, all right then, you know. <laughs> where, where imported from? Do you know, like, because the ones that I've had lately, I think I've liked the ones from Amsterdam more. Uh, I got, I got this, this at this particular time, it was still illegal here, and I got it from a dude named Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, shout out to Charlie, by the way. I don't even know if that's his real name, but you know, shout out to Charlie. I know you out there, bro. You know, say so shout out to you. Uh, uh you... not jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, realistically, I suppose for you guys, like anyone that was dealer than that would have could have turned into like a real business, couldn't they? Yeah, was it a bit more you know, um, red tape than that? Well, the, now with it being legal, the, the it's, it's all about money now. It's all about yeah, money. Yeah. Now. You have to have, you know, it's uh, I think my last check into it, you have to have like a hundred thousand dollars. You know, saying even think about getting into Jesus. like the grow. You know, it's like you got to yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Like you got to have like a like nice little chunk of change before you get into it. And anyone um, that's been smoking is not going to have that chunk of change. Fuck no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, re I really think like a lot of people that like started these businesses, they didn't smoke weed until like after they were like, oh, okay, so now let's let's get paid off I, of it, and now we can smoke. You know, so smart move. Yeah, it seems like. It just seemed like a very strange thing for somebody that doesn't smoke to really get into, but I guess for the money side of it, for yourselves, and it's different That's, over yeah. here. Yeah, oh, yeah. There's there's a lot of people that are like, you know, I've met some folks over the years. They're like, oh yeah, dude, I'm a huge weed advocate, and they'll say, well, oh, sweet, then we can smoke. Oh no, I don't partake though. <laughs> what? Me, Mark? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, you're a cop, aren't you? Get away from me. I don't want. That's, <laughs> it's like it's weird. Like, to me. Like, that just sounds like more like cloud chasing, you know? Like, it, yeah. It, but it's like one of the most minor things when you talk about like I, I find it weird it being called a drug at all. Like it's just, it doesn't really feel like a drug to me. Mm. I still uh, like I, saying I, let's do some dope. I still like I still like saying yeah, like yeah. I like saying that shit. I like you know like like oh yeah. A girl, like a girl calls me up. What are you doing? I'm sitting up here just doing some drugs. Oh my <laughs> God, <laughs> You're just so nonchalant about it. I'm like yeah, it's just pot. Like, of course I'm like, yeah, so, exactly. It's just pot. That's the thing though, isn't it? Yeah, and that's what it is. I, I just like the shock about you still saying drugs. Yeah, yeah. I I love the um when I was looking at some of your stuff, I love the name. Like, obviously, I can't say, it, but I love the name of your show. Like <laughs> the, the simplicity of it. It's like yeah, you know exactly well, what you're getting. Well, the mission is to actually get to get uh more white people uh to say it because that'll that'll take right, away man. that yeah because it's a good thing day, yeah it's, it's it's really just a cool word i mean at the end of the yeah, day yeah yeah it's, it's just really a cool word i mean and like you get the like, I tell you, there's lots of contemplations to it but you know just one day probably like yeah 2025 or something or 2050 or something like that everybody will be just like you know yeah yeah that, that's the thing in it's like that in general with so many bits of language isn't it though like, i'm not gonna say it just for the simple fact that i've already getting enough shit over the last few months like i'm just coming out of being able to get on stage again now so <laughs> Right, yeah, uh, no, you don't want, yeah, you don't want to shit on yourself, you know. And like, no, no, no. I'll be there for you in a few years, happily. Yeah, but like, no one's gonna care that I said it was okay for you to say it. No one, no, it's it's, it's that's the fucked up part of it. Like, well, he said I could. And I'm like, well, it is. Know anybody. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing about language in general, though, because there's a lot of like things like that that are now yeah. like because apparently if you say these few certain sounds, then apparently it means that you're a terrible person as well, like terrible, straight away, you know. People should hate you, and you shouldn't yeah. have things. 
it's crazy because they try and say it as if it's in a um inclusive way you know to bring people together but it's just when you look at it for a second it's just not it's the exact opposite of that yeah yeah that's and that's and and that's the that's the fuck the part about just like anything like like the whole like gender thing and uh yeah exactly and you know, and stuff like that it's like none of, none your of that what, what? mattered like like God, like 10 years ago none of this yeah. shit fucking mattered no I, mean, I remember watching the first ace venture film and i just thought it was funny yeah, yeah. Now yeah. we gotta be now we gotta be careful, like you know, like like I just recently, one... I, I just go, go ahead, comedy show and I have to actually be careful and I had to be careful. They were like, Yeah, we don't wanna uh the first thing they said to me, it was like uh no nothing yeah. is gonna offend the LGBTQ community. Yeah. And I was like yeah. and I said, But fucking why? Is that is that <laughs> who's hosting the show? You know, I'm like, is that, is that who's hosting the show? You know what, what thing I was from? you know what thing I would say to that from my experience though? Like I have met so many just I have met so many trans people, so many gay people, so many lesbians, whatever they are, and they are so chill about it. They don't care. It's the other people getting be- annoyed on their behalf. It's always the other people. The actual people don't care that much. Like, yeah. they're pretty chill like, about it. The, like the people that, like the, the folks that are in that lifestyle that are really in that lifestyle, they're not just yeah. like doing it because it's the buzz where, like, you know, it's like, exactly. oh, I get, like, I feel like most people are like, oh, I get the feeling to be whatever I want. And there's people out in the world that, like, really legitimately woke up one day and was like, you know what, this just doesn't feel right. It didn't go and make a big deal about it. Went and talked yeah. to probably their, their closest bestie, their mom or whatever, their doctor. You know, this is well after they've made the decision in life and everything and what they're going to do with their life. And they went and did it. You know, mm-hmm. and it wasn't no big, like, brouhaha moment. It was just like, yeah. you know, well, yesterday, you know, it was Steve. Now she's not, now it's Stevina now, you know. And Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's like that crossover, um, though. You know, so. <laughs> I, I forget whose joke it was that something about like um if somebody walks into a, a bathroom and shaved their beard and walk back out, you're gonna notice it, like you, nothing against it, but you're gonna just notice it. So if somebody walks out as Bob and comes back in as Mary, <laughs> you're gonna notice it. <laughs> yeah, no, really. <laughs> but like, I just I, I don't think like, there's two things. Well, number one, don't make me care about your situation. I got my own shit yeah. to deal with. I, I shouldn't <laughs> have to deal with stuff, whether if you have you know, say I shouldn't. You're not. You don't belong to me in no fashion. So I shouldn't have to care. And yeah. the second thing that's really making me mad right now, and I just see the video on this, and it just makes me more mad the more I see about it. It's the kids. Yeah. Same. Like, like, like. You mean to tell me that a child, like my my, my girl, I got a granddaughter. She's seven. And if like just not too long ago, she told me she was a fucking bird. She literally said, <laughs> I'm, a, "I'm a bird today," and I'm like, "Oh." Fucking all right then, let's be birds, you know. <laughs> and we walked around going cool, 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 and yeah, yeah, all this like that. Guess what she wanted to do the next day? Karate. We took her to karate. <laughs> so you mean to tell me it's a child who's not even old yep. enough to make up they, they can just change their mind at a whim like that? That's what we're supposed to, you know. She, she exactly. you know, she, she she can't choose her own for, uh, bedtime. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She can't just get up and walk out the house whenever she wants to. But this child is able to make the decision of what gender she is now. Yeah, and it's like make the decision, but don't give up, don't give a hormone fucking stuff. Though is the main thing, you know. Be yeah, hey, a boy if you want. That's fine. I really, I mean, I really think all that's uh, that's wrong. Like if I had a son, I, I agree. Who was your kid? And I always say, like, if I had a son exactly. or a daughter, and my kids like in junior high school, high school comes to me and says. Hey, Dad, I want to be a boy or I want to be a girl. The first thing that my mouth is going to be, well, have you, have you, have you fucked yet? Like, you know, <laughs> anything, like, but like, that's still you... even like, even then though, we're still coming back to this idea of you know, like what a guy and a girl should be. Which is, I thought we was at the point now where we kind of understood that anyone could just kind of be what they want. Why yeah. do they, why do other people then have to have that specific label? It's going back to what we we're talking about with like language. Yeah. Well, it's I why just think... just be what you want. Like, you know, especially when you're a kid, are, don't give I, I yourself hormone stuff, though. Yeah, I mean, don't a, lot let... of, a lot of people are just a lot of those folks are just playing. They're 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 they're, they're playing a role, you know. I mean, like I said, I get it. If you if if you're you know, you wake yeah, up there's, there's a portion of them that are genuine. Yeah, but then there's, there's probably yeah, a bigger portion gonna... nowadays that aren't. Like like. Like I refuse for a woman to come to me and tell me that you ident- I, I identify as a man, you will call me sir. I can't, sir, because um you have nothing there that says, dude, I'm what's your first name? I'll call you by your first name. How about that? 
see, I'm more than happy, like, you know, to call um, anyone by whatever name they want. Like, I'm fine with that. But it's like, when we get to, like, you know, sports and stuff, you know, like, when you see a lot of the stuff in sports right oh, yeah. now, that's, 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 that's when it's that's, like, come on, that's let, let's just draw a line right there. This is yeah. what we're talking about here. Well, I mean, and, the, and here's the craziest part, though. The biggest supporter of the whole thing are women. And I'm sorry. If as as a as a dude looking at things through dude eyes, <laughs> I, I, I would I, if I was a woman, I wouldn't be back in that shit. I'd be like, wait, hold on, no, you cannot be a better bitch than me. That's what I would be my yeah. thing. There's like no way they're not backing you... it in sports from what I've seen, but everything else, yes. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Everything else, yeah, you know. And like you know, um like, Caitlyn Jenner was the um woman of the year, like after yeah, being a woman see, for have, five we... months. I'd have got my bitches together. We'd have jumped his ass. Like, for real. Like, no, fuck that. Like, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> I'm sure they would shoot like, like, yeah. <laughs> I would look back and like, my grandma had 19 kids, and she ain't made woman of the year, but Joe ass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get a woman? Like, no. Nah, I, I just, that's, <laughs> that's the part that just, like, just, 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 it just, and then, but the thing is, though, see, now this, this conversation that we're having right now, see, uh, regardless of what side, how we looked at it, though, and 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 how positive we really feel about it, because I'm like, hey, anybody who wants to do that thing, do it, you know. And if I know, and if yeah. there's somebody that I know, I'm gonna support them 100. percent I'm gonna back them up, you know what I'm saying? Because nine times out of ten, I know that person's story, you know. What yeah. I'm if it's somebody I know and love, but for someone just to wake up one day and come to me and talk about something I identify as them, well, no, you're like, there's no. Oh, way. I don't know what that one's about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong. The guy, in, the guy yeah. in the girl thing, I'm fine with, but I don't understand the whole them. Like, yeah, if you want to do it, do it again once again. But I don't. Yeah. It, it's hard to. It's hard it was, to say. It's hard yeah, to really yeah. like do it, and you can try. But if you know, you you make a slip up sometimes. It's not the worst thing in the world. Like it's it, it doesn't make sense as far as the English language goes. So yeah, well, it's, at the end of the day, it's like you, it's it, it takes away from the actual real battle that the LBGT has started originally. It does. Like, it does. Way, way back in the nineties. It takes yeah. away from that because, and I'm, and I'm, and, I, and I'll never compare struggles because everybody's struggle is different throughout years, throughout history. But my struggle is worse. I, I it, yeah, there's, there's everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta be honest. Yeah, yeah you motherfuckers had it tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but, but it, it's, it's a. Uh, uh, I've got friends that like up until like. Like 2000, 2001 was like literally telling me, like, Jay, like, like they come to my house. I live like kind of like in a, in a, uh, for back, for lack of a better word, a more Republican place is where I lived at at the time. And my oh, I don't know what like, that means, though. Yeah. Uh, anti gay. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 I understand like, no, what that like, means. Yeah. 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 That's, I mean, I like I said, for lack of a better way, but they're, they're, yeah, they're yeah. Right there, anti guy, anti gay. So I would be like, you know, like, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Be easy when you switch your ass up out of here, man, because the white dudes on the block right there, they don't like y'all. And they outside right now. They'd be like, oh, shit, well, Jay, walk me to my car then. I'd be like, say less, you know? <laughs> 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 you, know you know, because I knew where I lived at. And they would yeah, tell yeah. me, like, like, shit, Jay, yeah, when I walked up, one, uh, one of my friends, he left my house. Uh, his, his name is David. Uh, shout, out, shout out to David uh, Sanchez. Uh, Everyone knows the Dave. He, yeah, yeah, he's, 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 he was a good friend of mine. Um, and he actually, uh, his story is kind of tragic, really. He, I don't mean to tell his whole tale, so I'll keep it short. Um, mm. he's Hispanic. Um, and if you know anything about Hispanic culture, shit, that is a no no. <laughs> no, I didn't you know that to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, yeah, you do not. You got to There is no, no, no homosexuality there. It's not cool. Like, you know, it's yeah. very macho. Yeah, so, yeah. so his pops, and this, and then on top of that, this is like 80s. We're talking 80s, you know. 80s, okay, yeah, the yeah. 90s, yeah. So, like, the whole time, he, like, he's, you know, he's, 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 he's trying to do his thing, and his dad's like, no, you're not even my son, you know, all this good stuff. Uh, years later, my man has kids, you know, he's got a beautiful wife, he has kids and everything, and then one day, he just says, you know, I can't keep living his life. And his kids are, like, newborns. Like, one is one, and the other one's, like, just came out. And yeah. so he, tells, he tells his wife, hey. Well, he's done the deed, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's done it. <laughs> But you know, but this, but this point now, he's like like twenty twenty five. Yeah, yeah. You know, what I'm saying. So now he's like. I've it was very things. detrimental for him. So it's like, 
So when I hear when I hear people saying like you know like well when I came out back and such and such and such it was like this when you know and some people they they got a lot of love and some people got a lot of love and hate from their family you know and I've had a few yeah, people yeah. come up to me and I was just like hey whatever bro I mean you don't like me do you like I mean I know you like me but you don't like me like me do you and they be like nah Jay, <laughs> you're not cute all right cool then shit fuck it let's go finish this ball game and quit being a bitch let's go yeah because <laughs> you know? that I is a lovely thing know. about nowadays though you can just like. The, the whole like the gay stuff as well more than anything like that's just i mean i've i've always felt like it's been like very accepted all kind of through my life i'm like <laughs> just become 30 kind of thing now it, it i've learned it wasn't been. as much as i thought it was in other places but right, yeah and still not so much <laughs> now completely but it still feels like it's a lot in general society it seems pretty accepted a lot more now which is nice I mean, I gotta be honest with you. At, the, at this point, really, if you look beyond all the bullshit we see on TV and everything like that, it's totally yeah. accepted. Yeah, it's exactly. Totally accepted. No one. It, it's at the point where nobody cares. It's like you know, like like some people I, sadly I have learned yeah. this. Still, the odd people. And then what happened is then, somebody had to go stir the pot. Yeah, but they're they're like yeah, the outcast more, which is the main thing, you know. Yeah. You yeah. know, so it's like I. It's it's cool. Cool. I it's not my job not to like people for dumb shit. You know, it's not your job not to like people for dumb shit. Yeah, it's not my job not to. I want to like everybody. So, yeah, know, yeah, to, yeah. Try to keep a blind eye to all that stuff and just individual cases. Really. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a lot harder with everything nowadays to keep a blind eye with like that stuff. Yeah, but like all the stuff in the news and that, the world is just kind of. Going to death a little bit, you know, in the nicest it's, way. <laughs> it's it's going. What do you guys say over there? Daft. It's going daft. <laughs> going. I don't know what that means. Yeah, that, I I think uh, it's it's. I don't know. I think it's like weird, crazy. I don't know. I I I watch a lot of TV and shit, and not like old <laughs> old British television and shit like that. Like, I'm oh, huge, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge uh, Monty Python Flying Circus fan. Oh. Uh, but look, when I had digital cable, we had we, we had out here was digital cable. It was like satellite. Like you know, it's crazy that channel. So I'm watching like the BBC. So I know a little bit yeah, about yeah. Death Abbey and shit like that. The original Office, you know, which is which, which uh, is the yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I prefer yeah. the um the American one, The Office. Yeah, definitely. I like them both. I like them both. But the the OG from the yeah, I I, I because first of all, I'm, I'm a Ricky Gervais fan. I do like Ricky yeah. Gervais. I do like same. same. And um, the only reason why uh we do that here in the United States is because our media people and the people who are in power and stuff, we well excuse me, they play us Americans for dumb. Like 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 funny is funny. That's all there is to it. Funny is funny. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And I watched the first season of the office of the English version and then I watched the first season of the of the American version. Really the only difference is uh the color motif and the people, yeah. the whole yeah, yeah. first season was a mirror image, and I was like, "What the fuck did they mean that nobody was gonna get it from that?" Yo, the same damn joke was just told. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally. Which is why, though, the, the bad part is that I love Wicked Race too, but for some reason, I watched the American one first, all the way through, and I loved it. And then I went yeah. back and watched the British one, and then realized in the first couple of episodes, oh, this is the American one is just copying this because I knew the British one came first. I didn't want to watch anymore at that point because I loved the American one too much. Yeah, right. No, it, 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 it does take away. It does take away. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen all the other like Ricky Gervais stuff though, but I love. He's one of my favorite comics, so I love his style and his lack of just giving a shit as well. That's what makes me like him so much. Yeah, like I remember him saying something. He was doing some kind of a. He did it twice that I remember him doing. He did it one time for a show here, and he did it again. Uh, there was like an award ceremony. Uh, I've seen it on the BBC. And uh, um, I'm trying to where it yeah, was. But he went in and he says, He goes, he, and the queen was still alive. He was, like, it, he was wasn't like, it the Oscars? I think it might have been the both versions of the Oscars, honestly. Yeah, I think it was. I think it's what it might have been. What it was because I yeah, know, he, yeah. said, he, goes, he goes, He goes, I don't care if the queen fucking knows, I don't what do I fucking care. <laughs> he goes, I just dip over to America and everything's gonna be cool. Mm-hmm. Got to America, goes, I don't fucking care if you guys don't like me. I just dip back to England and everything will be cool. And he knows as well that it's plain to the people at home, not the people in there. They ain't gonna do anything for him. Yeah, they're not gonna do shit. To, yeah, he doesn't fucking mm-hmm. care. It's like, like, no, my money is out there on the other side of the fucking microphone. Right? Yeah. Oh, this is an interesting one, actually. How did you feel about the whole, um, as like comics as well? How did you feel about the whole um, Will Smith and Chris Rock thing? At the Oscars. Oh. Okay. 
first of all. Okay. Uh, if that had been in any other situation, like if that had been just like at like I don't know, like just like somebody's birthday party or something like that, I what? think there would have been a fight. And I have a feeling that Chris Walk might have beat up Will Smith. It's Maybe. a huge might. You know, my man was like, he was like, dude, he outweighed a man by like 30 pounds. And just that yeah. Thing. I said, yeah, but y'all didn't see what I saw. See, when he initially contacted the slap Chris Rock and Chris Rock went back, his yeah. fist balled up. And then he yeah. relaxed yeah. and he came back to composure because, oh, he had to think about, oh, this is this is a money He's spot. a fucking let professional. Not, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me get my, you know, let me go back. Let me mm-hmm. get the comedy for this, you know. But mm-hmm. I think if they'd have been anywhere else, where there have been no cameras and stuff like that, there'd have been a tussle. Have been and a you fight. can tell that slap didn't rock him as well because he was straight on it, like reacting. Oh, yeah, the no, that, that, he wasn't scared at all. Bit, man. That's, that's that Brooklyn shit. <laughs> 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 it's just, just tough for no reason. You, just, mm-hmm. you know, that's See, what that is. That's the cats. They're just tough. So that's the first thing. Uh, second, second of all, um, I still like Will Smith. I really do. I've hey. always liked Will Smith. I mean, hey. he, he's one of them guys you just can't not like. Like, if you don't like Will Smith, what's wrong with you? you As an actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I don't think that what we've been seeing of Will Smith is the Will Smith that everybody fell in love with because his relationship with yeah. his wife is fucked yeah. over. You know, yeah. he got himself involved in something that he probably didn't really want to do. Like the whole the open first... relationship thing. Honestly, oh, like yeah. That. Yeah. No, he, and the constant he, he, interviews with that red table thing talking about their stuff all the time, where she just demasculates oh, him constantly. I can't imagine what it's like does. in the house. She, she, she really does. Like, he's, he's now at a point now. And then on top of that, like, I really think that when uh, people get famous, they get to a certain level, regardless of any interior influences, so much outside influences, it, it, it does something up here. It makes, Definitely, yeah. you know, saying it. It gives you the wrong kind of dopamine that you you may need your dopamine boost every day. We all need it. Yeah. But there is good dopamine and there's bad dopamine. If you're getting bad dopamine all day, that's the shit that drives you crazy. That's the shit mm-hmm. that makes people with the serial killers and rapists and stuff like that. Because the dopamine they're getting, it's although, like I said, we all need it, they're getting too much of that bad dopamine. It's, it makes them be impulsive and do yeah. things that they really shouldn't be doing. But I think also okay. I think also as well, because it's like we always look at celebrities and think that they're huge, like because they're known all over the world that the world's huge to them. Well, I think for me in that situation, I think it's made smaller. So they're kind of focused in more on that little bubble. They're like little support bubble. And if your support bubble main partner in that support bubble is not a nice person, maybe then you're going to get demasculated to hell and you're going to turn. He'd be great. He he just needs to get away from the relationship. His kids are old enough now, just one. And, and that's really my that's that's really my best thing. Like, I I I tell I, I say like if you're if 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 you're not happy where you are, and you aren't able to waste that shit, things happen to you. Like, some guys stay loyal and just still with it and just get beat and just get further beat down. Other guys mm-hmm. go fuck other bitches flat out. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. like, okay. like, oh okay, yeah. Like you know, like like I'll yeah. be honest with you. Like like the times that I was I wasn't right in my shit. It was because I didn't feel a certain energy at yeah. home. So I like, know what you mean. Yeah, like, 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 as a dude, yeah, I don't, I, I'll be honest. I, I, just, I, I said, I would like being catered to as a man. I do. I, I like my woman to cater to me. Like, I want to, I'm coming home to a meal, at least a fucking sandwich. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> but if I'm not getting that, if I'm not being treated as a leader of my household and stuff, a chick can dangle some keys in front of me. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, but I can have like you know the being given food, doing all of that. You can have all of that, like, and it, it's still yeah. If if I'm not being made to be like pounced on in the bedroom, then it's still just something missing. Yeah, it's just there's something just, there's something there. Yeah. yeah, and 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 I'm not saying that every lady should just run around and just be a total slut for your man. What I am saying is that run around here and oh, be yeah. a total slut for your fucking man and cook and clean and take care of the house. <laughs> and make sure that when he comes home and shit, all he got to do is get his dick sucked and go to bed. That's it. Like, well, the like, guy's got to do his bit too, though. You got to yeah, bring the yeah. random presents back. You got to do the loving too. Yeah, no, no. We it's a two way street. Too. Yeah, yeah. We got to do our thing too. But see, for men, it's different. And the problem is, though, is that what we've been uh, taught, learned, trained, uh, uh, programmed whatever to do 
uh, is to just randomly do cool shit for a lady. Yeah. Not for no reason at all. Just be like, at the store one day and be like, you know what? You know, weird shape, bitch. Do like these little shoes right here. And you grab those shoes, you take it to your ass and be like, here, put these shoes on your little fat foot, baby. I'm like, I know you like them Crocs. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you little dangles for them too. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we do. <laughs> we don't, we don't, we're not programmed. We, we literally, men are not programmed to remember birthdays, anniversaries, fucking. Oh, it's hard. Uh, yeah, we, I know, don't yeah, think we're, we're not, right. We got to write that stuff down. It's got to mm-hmm. be programmed to our phone. We got secretaries for that shit. You know what I'm saying? We are not. You can write down a thing. Yeah. We but have we Alexa know... now. There's no excuse to be fair. We have Alexa. Yeah, nowadays. yeah. At this point in time, there's no excuse now. Yeah, because yeah. we're we are in the future. Um, yeah. but you know, say, but we are naturally, you know, say we're programmed. Our dads told us, oh yeah, so grab that right there. Your mama like that shit. Get that. Go grab that over there. That's what my that's. I be with my dad at the store. We be doing a whole little big dude, little dude thing, and he'll stop mm-hmm. and be like, "Hey, remind me when we leave out the store. Grab them flowers right there for your mama." <laughs> for what? It's Tuesday, boy. She is. <laughs> yeah. Her birthday already passed. He goes, I know it. I know it. I said, you didn't get her done for her birthday, did you? He was like, nah, what? You know, mm-hmm. I, I offended him with that shit. He was like, what do you mean I didn't get her done for her birthday? I'm still here, ain't I? You know, so. Um, but but I'm, not with, I'm not with my kid's mom now. And I still do that kind of stuff with them. And they yeah. kind of react in the same kind of way. Still, so why do you know? It's like, no, you, you just have to do it. It's like you guys are doing it. Like I'm giving yeah. it to you to do it. Yeah, but you just yeah, have to. Yeah. You have to keep them happy, Annie, because you still trying to fuck her, You still trying to fuck her? Nah, nah, no, no, not over. her. I, I, no, I have right. gone through my slag phase since. Do not get. This is what I was going to say when you were talking. Every guy is not really in their right frame of mind until they figure out how to be a slag. Yeah. And then you get your right frame of mind because once you've done it, you're out then. Yeah. Until then, you yeah. have it there. Is this, I think as a man, we will never get it right. And it's not because we just, we're just not oh, getting it right. No. We're, just, <laughs> we're, we're never going to get it right. No, right. no, no. But no. but what has to happen, though, right, especially right now, because there's a huge rift between men and women right now for some stupid fucking reason and shit. Like, I don't know how it is over there, but over here, like, now we can't even know. take bitches at the Cheesecake Factory. Good. What? Yeah, I know about the home. cheesecake factory. You can't take yeah, pictures. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. When you said what? Yeah, no, they don't want to go to. No, cheesecake I know about the cheesecake factory. I've watched Big Bang Theory. I'm with it. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah, yeah. They, they they put a whole list of places they don't want to go eat on first dates, and I'm like, oh, I'm, yeah. Now here's the crazy part, though. I read the whole list, and I really was gonna go on and also funny shit, and then I stopped and was like, wait a minute, these are all places that are like intimate. You can be close. I could talk to you. It's not loud in here. First you know dates. First date shit. The things you want to do is talk to uh, a person. Get to know no, them. yeah, but not like that though. I, I see I've made this point a lot. First date, always the first date needs to be something like bowling, something like yeah. golf, where you've got alcohol. You can drink alcohol if you want to, if they want to. Mm-hmm. And you're also in a situation where you're talking, but you could do something so you don't have to have those weird pauses. Yeah. Bowling is on the list of places mm-hmm. they don't want to do. Bowling is what? On, I don't want to. Yeah, bowling is on the list. They don't want to do so. Oh, fuck it. They don't know what they want. They don't want the fuck they want, man. <laughs> they don't know what they want. Don't like, want bowling. And, and, and all the reasons that you said, bowling is the be- is, is one of the best spots to take a person yeah. on a first yeah. date. Because you get it's an activity. It's mm-hmm. around other people. It's it's mm-hmm. an awkward situation. So you can count on ain't nobody trying to fuck. <laughs> you well, gotta, you know, there's then, also there's always bars nearby as well. So that if it's going well, you can go to the bar. You, you, you can turn it to that way if you wanted to go that way. You know what I'm saying? There you go. But that's how you find out if, like, okay, is this going to be the girl I'm going to date? Is this the homegirl I'm kicking with that maybe date? Or am I going to smash her tonight and probably never call her again? If I take a chick bowl and I smash that night, I'm probably not going to call her. Oh, no. I've met some lovely people smashing them after bowling. Yeah. I mean, I have. But I'm just saying that the the average of me, <laughs> the average of me, yeah, because a lot of times it ends up being like. I heard like this debate like recently. You play a couple of frames. We had a few yeah. beers. We'd have some good laughs, and then we end up. But if we just like bowl a few frames, and she was like, "Can we get out of here?" And then we go. Just straight up, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna call her again. So, see, this the thing that I, I I heard this recently. Like, is a um. You know, like sex on the first date is that a deal breaker for a relationship? I don't think so. I, maybe I they're really just a deviant. A no, it's 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 really not a deal breaker. But for me, it lets me know where your head is at, and if your head's there, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force it because I obviously just like a woman, if 
you're rushing to that, then I obviously I'm not worth you getting to know. Well, maybe she wants to know both. Maybe she just wants to get I mean, to check out the penal first. Yeah, I mean, and that's fine too. And if that's the case, then it's up to her to call me. Fair, okay. I know I, I know what I did. I didn't have pussy before. And it's, you know, <laughs> I know what it does. You know what I'm saying? I've but, heard from a woman's <laughs> point of view. Sex on the first date isn't an issue, but not having any sex by like the eighth or something is an issue because you probably got a micro penis. Which that is a problem. You go that sounds like an issue. Yeah, eventually somebody gonna want to know. You know, I didn't, I've, I've been in that situation with a girl where she she actually told me like after it was all said done, she was like, "Damn!" I was like, "What?" She was like, "I can't believe you made me wait all this time." I was like, "Wait all this time? What the fuck are you talking about?" I I said, "Oh, I didn't even." I, just, I said, "You know what? I didn't even know you was on it like that. I thought we was just." Oh, just kicking it, getting to know each other. Shit, I was just riding that train until until it got to to here. But shit, you should have told me yesterday. I was ready. <laughs> so when you said you've been in that situation before, I thought you'd had a micro penis or something, and you had like some kind of surgery because that exists nowadays. Nah, <laughs> I got me. You can bro. do it. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no, really, no. What it, no, actually, what it was is that we were just having a really good time together, like really enjoying our time, good laughs, jokes, and it just never really, for me, never really got to that point. I was just having a good, a genuinely good fucking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know you get different vibes with people. It's how it goes. It just bends. Yeah. It? So she thought I was friend zoning her, and I was like, "No, I wasn't friend zoning you. I was like, literally enjoying just being around you. I wasn't even thinking about sex." But makes you feel good as a guy, though, when the girl thinks that you friend zoned them. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been friend zoned a million times. Oh, every guy has. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, all I, have. So, so much so, I stopped and I was like, "Wait a minute, hold on. This all sounds like we in a friend zone right now. Are we in a friend zone." Yeah, I said, "Okay, cool." Give me a second. I had to reset my brain and restart my 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 thinking about this chick because because she would always go, "Hey, big bro," and I'd be like, "I'd be like, what's going mm-hmm. on, little sis? Walk around here, I see you know." And I'd be like, "I see you over here with your little legs out, you know." Da, da, da. I'm kind of low key old guy flirting and shit. And no, uh, she was really like big bros, like this is the big honey right here. I'm not gonna lie, I've got to the point where I'm kind of bad like that. Like if I see someone and I, to me it's like that kind of vibe, and I'm doing like it's flirting and stuff. And then yeah. you realize you're being friend zone. It's like, oh, in the nicest way, I got enough friends. I'll just peace. I'll see you later. Right, right, right. No, I just right, can't. Right. Like, one, one time I did, and I said, I can't be your friend. She was like, why? Well, I said, because I, I'll be honest with you. I just want to fuck. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, want to be a, you, you want to be my friend. And, and she was like, she's like, well, what? So then I knew at this point, I knew she wasn't going to give me any anyway. So yeah, said, yeah, she yeah. Was, so she was like, well, that's cool that you don't fuck your friends. I was like, Nah, I can fuck my friends. I just know you just ain't trying to give me no pussy, <laughs> and that's all I want to do. <laughs> so instead of me keep embarrassing and, myself, coming over here think I'm gonna get some ass from you and shit, I'm just gonna not. Fuck yeah, it's, it's actually protecting yourself sometimes if you that's know you're I'm just doing, gonna right? be wanting yeah, that each time, and it's saying, like, you know? yeah, 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 that's exactly what it is, bud. We're and, guys. And, we got to protect ourselves nowadays. Yeah, we have to. You know, <laughs> actually, we should have always have been, but the problem was. You know, and this goes all the way. I didn't back. mean like that. <laughs> no, oh no. <laughs> <Jesus>. hmm? <laughs> no, no, no. I know, I know what you mean. We gotta protect yeah, yeah. Our, you know what I'm saying we gotta protect up here. But what I'm saying is that we should have been doing it. See, yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? We were, you know, as young men, you know, I know when I was a kid coming done. up, you know, it was cool, you know, you see your tits, what? you know. Yeah, but we literally fight. evolved to just want to fuck, man. That's why this yeah. This our species has become the main species on the planet is because we evolved to just want to procreate, which yeah, we is why we can do it, keep yeah. doing it like till we're like dead, basically. We're the only thing on this planet that fucks for fun. And dolphins. Oh yeah, and dolphins. Oh yeah, and there's a and there's a uh, species of monkeys called uh bonobos. Oh bo- bonobos, yeah. Yeah, with the little cheeks and shit like that. Yeah, they fuck for fun. <laughs> man that, that's the awesome thing about animals so every time they have a look at how smart they are they're always a lot smarter than they think they are yeah like well, um yeah. like even goldfish have like yeah we always talk about like a six second memory but they have like a six month memory yeah just in, like the, the the like i was just watching a video the other day there was a uh there's a actually I've been I've been trying to keep a track of these type of videos. They got these pads they put out on our floor, and your dog hits the pad so they can actually communicate with you. So like you look at your dog and be like 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 what you want, girl? 
water, water. Like they'll hit the water. Food. Yeah. Push feet, you know. I didn't surprise <laughs> me with dogs. You know, like the, like they'll be able to tell you. So I think yeah. that still comes with some training and shit like that. But this yeah, one yeah, lady, definitely. She had one with her dog be like, bitch, look. <laughs> 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 and I was like, the first time I said, I was like, wait a minute, did that shirt dog just like use that like improper like sentence structure? Like, like, bitch, look over there, like, bitch, snack. You know? <laughs> Funny thing, she only called bitch at this point. Yeah. And yeah. Like, what do you want? And like, she was like, bitch. It's, it's like, it's like, it was like, like that's her girlfriend. Like, bitch, let me tell you. Like, that's how the, that's how it sounds. It's like, like, yo, that's. Oh, you that's could definitely it. train a dog to do that, hundred yeah, percent. Like, yeah. I was like incredible because she had like a whole bunch of them. Like, yeah, whole, yeah. Those sort of whole sentences, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like, I, I don't know if I got the patience to teach my dog. Yeah. Oh no, I, I ain't got the patience to teach my dog shit at all. I don't think it's because um, I got all the anxieties and shit. That'll just flare my shit the fuck up. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't want your dog to make you feel better than you are. It's not cool. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I kind of want my dog to stay in its place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Have you seen um like on the other scale of that though? Have you seen like I forget what kind of ape it was, but like that have taught themselves to fish in that now, and spear no, fish more than anything. <laughs> Fucking crazy, man! Like they're literally going through their stone age right now. I get, I mean, I you know what? I can't even really respond to that because I watch <laughs> way too many movies, man. Like. Like, I think anything is possible. That's like that's how I, yeah. that's like I watched so I've watched so many movies in my life, like of all different genres. Like I think any like, do I think that one day apes could take this shit over? KD, yes, yes. <laughs> well, well, okay. I, think there's, I mean, there's, there's, the apes is good, but I think they forget about the giant rockets we have. It's the only issue. Well, I mean, some of the trailers to that last uh, last uh, 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 Planet of the Apes was pretty. I thought it was like. I, I didn't know they were just showing bits and pieces of that movie. Like they were, like they were like the, with the videos with the monkey grabbing the AK forty seven and shooting the soldiers and yeah, shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was all part of that fucking movie, man. I was, <laughs> that's, you know, that was like, holy fuck, oh. the fuck just shot them dudes. Like, and then like later on, I see the movie, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna. So oh, <laughs> I bet hundred percent there's been a monkey that's messed around with a gun and managed to shoot it. I guarantee that. <laughs> Yeah, probably. And, you know, though, clearly by accident, though. But like this monkey, like yeah, figured it out learned. immediately and was like taking aim, like, like, like running through, like. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was, was like, that movie's oh, awesome. Like, yeah, but I would be, dude. If I see the monkey running down the street with an AK forty-seven, like right now today, I'm not going outside. <laughs> no, I'm not going outside. For <laughs> shit. Hell no. I'm not even. Thinking, oh. You ain't gonna call nobody? Nope. Mm-hmm. No, no, I wouldn't I go outside would. if they were on arms, let alone holding an AK. I ain't going anywhere. Yeah, I'm in the crib. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting on the phone. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just going to get on. I might, I might go on Facebook. I said, y'all, I just see the monkey for the AK-47. Yeah, yeah. And I said, and collect my laughs and likes. That's all I'm going to do. <laughs> I thought X was like more of a thing in America or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I, I, I got a Twitter account and I don't even, I'm not even on it. I just, I, I, I got like, I mean, I got stuff there, but like, I don't even really, I think I just go in there and find porn. Cause it's a lot of porn. <laughs> no, on there. Okay. Yeah. We don't yeah, have that on Facebook. And, and because of social media, I only have like a 15 second like attention span. So the amount of porn they show on there is perfect. I get the racket, mm-hmm. the double knee shot real quick. And nap time. I that's more of a bodily reaction rather than an attention span. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'll, 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 t- I'll type like, you know, the, you know, comedy's awesome and then put that in the Twitter sphere. And then the rest of the time, I'm just. <laughs> so, what kind of stuff? Are you looking at like when you're on YouTube and stuff, you know, what's your go to kind of stuff like, you know? Oh man. Uh or just watching... to, like, YouTube is dangerous for me. I gotta be honest with you. Cause I'll look at anything from like dancing videos to fucking comedy, uh to documentary shit. Um, it's so many times though I've just on any subject, I've just gone down the rabbit hole on any subject. Like that's yeah. why I says like 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 my brain is all fucked up. I, like like you know, do you believe in dragons? Yup, there's dragons. Yup, <laughs> yup. Go well, on YouTube. Yeah. I've, I've shared, yeah, you know, like I'm 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 open to everything. So it's like I can't I, I can't I can't allow myself to watch too much because being open to everything <laughs> means that a lot of bullshit gets in and I'll be like, yo, did yeah. you know? 
that yeah, yeah. he's like saying something like yo jay you gotta watch that video again that shit's not real i'm like no it's right here look and i look at him like oh they're gonna fucking there go the strings never mind now i'm exactly yeah you know what i'm saying so like, so so in in, in to defeat that i end up watching video after video after video reaction videos rebuttal videos and and then the next thing you know, it's like five o'clock in the morning. I got to be to work in 15 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit can get you, man. Like, you fully can. Yeah. But uh, um, yeah, I watch, I just, you know, I, I watch, like I said, I watch a lot of comedy. I watch a lot of comedy on there. Uh, I just, uh, just because I'm, mean, you know, I do comedy, and you gotta, mm-hmm. you gotta study, you gotta study what you do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, yeah. That's why I did for know. the first. Like when I had the idea, I wanted to do it. I just more studied than anything. Like who, do you, who would you say is like? I don't want to say favorite comic because that's a bit hard to say. Like some of your yeah. influences, maybe, or some people, not your influences. Like, well, yeah, influences because I think the ones yeah. we really like are the ones that kind of make the comic we are in a lot of ways for some people, anyway. Yeah. Well, well, for me, number one. Uh, and I studied this guy up and down is uh, Richard Pryor. Okay. Number one, um, because he 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 lived in truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like I'm sure he did his. You know, no, actually, I'm not even sure he did his dirt. You know, <laughs> you know, he did his dirt. You know, but he brought it. He brought it all off stage with him, and he left it on the floor. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? and I, I unfortunately I'm not that free, but uh, I'm hoping that one day to become as free as Richard Pryor. And exactly you know what mean, yeah. be that pure. You know, he was yeah. very pure. Um, after that is uh, definitely Dave Chappelle, another guy who I studied. I've watched everything with him. You know, I like I'm now at the point with these guys that when I watch their comedy, I, yeah, and lies in it. I'm just I'm not even laughing. I'm just I'm I'm just sitting there just soaking up the, the yeah. knowledge, just soaking up the the timing, just all that like like oh, like, oh yeah, I need to start like analyzing and stuff too, isn't it? Like you know? yeah, you know. Um it's not necessarily like I'm gonna like you know, like try to like take their style or anything like that, but like there's yeah, certain things, yeah. there's certain mechanics that are in comedy that we all do, but if we're not doing that, we should learn how to do and use them like like, do you know how powerful a comedic pause is? Like, yeah. <laughs> like mm-hmm. that shit. That's like getting hit in the gut by Mike Tyson. That is a, a comedic, a, a properly used pause, dude. You will destroy a room with it. You mm-hmm. know, a couple of blinks. It, you know, it, on them. It's one thing as well saying it like when you're doing it with like people, but then on stage, it's like a whole different energy when you have to like do like remind yourself secondly to do it. If you know what I mean. Uh, I think so. Like for me. A lot of the stuff I do now is it's become kind of second nature. Like I just do. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just get up there and just do it. Like if I if, if I'm ever in a point where I can't think of anything to say, I have a set that's just sitting there lingering in the back of my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you know, what I'm saying if I ever get the proverbial stage fright where I'm having trouble up there, you know, what I'm saying I know that I can just you know, okay, I can't get none of my sets to go. I'm really good at crowd work, so I do some crowd work, you know, until like you know, until I gain momentum. So yeah, there's yeah. just certain things I just do, but it wasn't that I just knew to do them. I had to learn it. Yeah. How long you have you been doing it? it? Um, I've been doing comedy now about about ten years now. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm yeah. about like um five years myself now. So okay, I've got right, that right. like I've got that like set that's always there to go, but it's like yeah. the crowd work stuff and all that is like the stuff I know I can do better and exactly what you were saying before about trying to be free because yeah. like my favorite like kind of person that is a huge inspiration I think on the kind of kind of acts I want to be on stage like just being free and just being learning how to bring yourself out on stage more is a uh, Norm Macdonald I love Norm Macdonald oh yeah 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 love yeah, him I, I, yeah he's one he's one of my favorites in there he's he's yeah. got a long list of favorite comics you know uh, I, I've also uh, read Fox. Uh, who else? Uh, Rudy Ray Moore. I've listened to his stuff back in the day. Um, oh my god! Uh, it's hard, isn't it, when you have to think of it? Yeah, just I mean, it, oh, 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 man, he was oh, just this is right there. Uh, I even see some old Merv Griffin comedy. 
yeah, this had to be like the 1800s or something. It was like, like it was super black and white. I was mm. just scrolling through and it says rare Merv Griffin comedy. Then if I was like, Merv Griffin? The, 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 the fucking game show producer? Oh, oh, shit. I didn't even know the name. No, when, yeah. I, when you first said it, I thought you said Eric Griffin, which is why I was a bit confused. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, speaking of Eddie Griffin, that's another one right there. Uh, no, Eric. George Carlin. George Carlin is another guy right there. Like he, he just oh man, he he didn't give a fuck. He didn't give a shit. Yeah, he truly, and that and that's another thing. Uh, for me, the truly and anybody listening, the true essence of any comic is his level of not giving a fuck. I agree. Bottom line, you got to do that. You can't just follow. It seems like you can't just follow the line because. No. Normally, the best comics figure out what the line is. Yeah, it crosses. When everyone else is saying it's this, you know. And yeah. No, 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 no. A, a, a good comic will find that line and then cross that bitch. And yeah, say, no, yeah, this yeah. is the line. And then the next, curve, the next great comic is supposed to cross that line and say, nah, nah, nah. This is the line. You know, it's like, if, we, if, if we're needed, we're needed. We're needed, especially mm-hmm. in these times right now. We're, we're fucking needed, man. We, Do you find... Uh, Sorry, it's not clear. Do you find like with your community, your comedy community over there, a lot of the comics are trying to go against that idea of what you should be allowed to do or shouldn't be allowed to do, or is more the community trying to side with the oh no, let's do what they want kind of side and do do what we have to do to get where we want to go and just play along right now. Um, in my community, we got a lot of everything. We got a lot of guys that are just happy with hitting open mics. Uh, we got guys that are actually trying to do something. Um, well, I mean, they, more sorry, the higher up community, you know, like the ones. Oh, yeah, there is a there, there's, the there's, oh, there's definitely a hierarchy here. Oh, yeah, there is a definitely yeah. high hierarchy here in my fair city. There is a boy there. <laughs> oh, know, okay, okay, okay. Um, it's that's then, what I've been dealing with myself lately, so that's yeah. what I was alluding to earlier. Yeah, but I'm thinking that it's in every community, though. So, like. Like I, 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 so I used too. to get mad, and then I talk to people that are like in other places. They're like, "Yeah, no, nah, motherfuckers do that shit here. Dude. Just, just do your comedy and 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 have fun with it." You know, what I'm that's how it should be. Like, yeah, yeah. But then when you have like, it's an issue when you have people going about trying to stop you going on gigs and kind of, you know, yeah, the, the gatekeeping is real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gatekeeping is real, you know. It's one of those yeah. things when I got into comedy, I thought wasn't so real. And then sadly, you do learn that it is, which is okay. You just got to kind of expect it thereafter, you know. Yeah. I usually me- use that a measurement of how good I am. Like, if I yeah, know I'm better, but mean. if the person that's gatekeeping me is gatekeeping me to my face, you know what I'm saying? I immediately think, you must not be that good at comedy. And you worried about me coming in and taking your spot. Yeah. Got you. So that in turn is let me just go a little bit, let me go that much harder then so that the people around you can see me and put me <laughs> yeah. in your face. That's and and uh, like yeah. and that's a and and that's a it's that's like rule number uh, sixteen twenty eight in the uh stay in your motherfucking lane rule. Cause uh <laughs> the more you worry <laughs> about what other people do, yeah, the harder exactly. it is for you to do your shit, you know. So I, I just I try not to and I just I just my my thing is they better not do it to me. That's and I've always said that. Yeah. That's what my grandma say. But they better not yeah, do yeah, it yeah. to me, baby. So I, you know, my mama said, "Well, they better not do it to you." My daddy said, "Hey, they better not do it to you." My sister, "Oh, they better not do it mm-hmm. to you, little brother." So obviously, I'm gonna say, "Well, shit, they better yeah. not do it to me," because all these motherfuckers said that you better not do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I think when you're in those situations, you should understand that everybody else wouldn't want to jump to it as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's one of them. It doesn't need to be a situation for stuff, so you just kind of just let it fizzle out. Eventually, once once you've made your point, I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it, you know, yeah, because then what ends up happening is that you know the gatekeepers are no longer gatekeepers no more. You know, <laughs> well, they're just you just can't you just can't you just can't get money with them. That's all that that's all that means. Exactly. I can't yeah, get yeah. money with two people, but I can get money with ten. KD, the math is math, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For every five people that don't fuck with me, trust and believe there's 20 that just love the shit out of Jay. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And do whatever and do, and do whatever they can for Jay. So I mean and, and, talking about and, people that and, love and, you. And in turn, I do it for them. Uh did I see that you're quite a fan of anime talking about things you love or or that? Did I see that? I, I am a bit of an anime fan, not as big as I used to be, uh, mm-hmm. only because like 
uh, the internet makes things move way too fast for me. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's hard to keep but, up with nowadays. Yeah, I am a fan of anime. Uh, You'll appreciate yeah. this. Is that a Tamagotchi? Oh, that's no, a Dragon a... Ball. I can't open it because of stuff in it and, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm in America, though, remember? So it's okay. So, going down. Nice. It's a Dragon I love it. It's a Dragon Ball. <laughs> I just got the I just got the binge watch of Dragon Ball Z uh Kai uh, a couple of weeks ago. Dragon Ball Z Kai, which one was that? That's the one. That's that's that. That's the one that's got like. Uh, oh, is that the Alter Life one? The Alter Reality no, that's one. The, uh, that's uh, it's actually uh, Goku's original adult life. So after Dragon Ball, there was Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z Kai is every single episode from that time. So huh? from in so between. From, yeah, so from the, the 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 from the Dragon the Dragon Bridge, uh the original Saiyan episodes, the androids, the, oh okay. The cell competition, all yeah. all that is all yeah. Well, oh, okay. Actually, yeah, yeah. It was, it was Dragon Ball, but now it, but Dragon Ball here in the States. We didn't have every single episode. We, they jumped around a lot, but yeah, people got okay. new because I mean, a season of, of that show is like a hundred episodes. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it got cut down over here as well. Like we they didn't have a lot of. Like, yeah, we not we not watching TV like they watch TV over there. <laughs> Did you have like three episodes for like one Spirit Ball over there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. And then, then you're watching it. It's like that. I was like, oh shit, that was a whole episode. That episode. Oh my god, I, I can't even. Like I'm, yeah. I'm sure it was Goku charging up a Dragon Ball for three episodes, and I, I think it was Freezer. Right, I thought it was right at the end of the Freezer saga, <laughs> Freezer saga, and he just let him charge him for all that time. Don't stop yeah. him, you know. No, let him talk, have a conversation. Yeah, yeah have, he's, I can't believe yeah. it. His energy is so hot. Yo, I took off on him while he's charging. I've been over there so fast. <laughs> like. <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> Um, I, Dragon Ball. I used to love when I was a kid. I was never so much into Pokemon like everybody else was. Yeah, that I was. That was. I've always been like a loner, so like Pokemon mm. and all that stuff like that, and the and the Yu Gi Oh card. That meant I had to have like a crew of people, and I didn't really have. I had like two or three <laughs> friends, you know. And we did things like we 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 did things like like one day we'll be like upstanding citizens, the next day we're rabbit. You know, we were just. We were just <laughs> Mm-hmm. We did everything, you know. I was a good little boy up until I was part of school, and then I got the same kind of thing where you find that little group of friends, and you off like in the forest drinking, you off smoking. Yeah, you know? that's what you want as a kid, man. Just doing dumb shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I remember one of my favorite things. I remember we got in a newspaper because we managed to get in. Um, I mean, we found some um construction building like things and yeah. big giant like things that they use like if somebody falls off um then it catches them and we found some of them like took them together and uh managed to make a boat to go down the canals it was big man we got like nine people on there with a big boat we got photographed by the people on the other side of the canal and went in the um local free did paper around here did you guys built this yeah it was easy like you literally just get like four of these big bags they had those, I love like, how you're like of... it's easy though. And I'm, uh, you're like it's totally easy. I'm blown away. Like yo, you made a boat, dude. Like what? What? It was like a raft, raft better way of putting it. It's a yeah. very big one. You just attach them together, and then we put like a few pieces of wood on the top, and then just went down the canal on it. It was chilling as hell. See, I grew up in the city. There we never, yeah, we didn't do none of that shit. Our thing was we, we the thing that we did was okay so. In the eighties here in Vegas, there were like a lot of places that are that are like whole entire like shopping centers now that were complete deserts back then. So deserts. Deserts. Oh, so okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just empty lots basically. But they were but yeah. right now there's like whole communities and shopping centers and stuff built where these where these empty lots were. Um, but back then we would go out there and just break shit like yeah, bottles. Yeah. yeah. Uh we like you know, get we'd fight ants, we'd fight ants and fight ants, put ants in bottles and stuff, and watch them fight. Um, with the, the like red ants and black ants, both very poisonous, and we're back there playing with them and shit. Allergies galore. Uh, oh yeah, you got uh, actual yeah, yeah. like ants can hurt you over there, haven't you? I didn't think yeah. about that. Yeah, we um, our ants are bitches over here. 
Yeah, man. I, yeah, I, I grew. I, I, it went on. I, I, I watched a lot of '80s television and stuff. And like I said, there's a few movies that I, that like I said, in the '80s. There was a few movies that slid over this way on HBO. No, I, that makes me. That makes me say like you know. I love my films. I'm a big film we didn't lover. Grow up too much different. We didn't grow up too much different, you know. Let me hear some of your film loves, man. I'm a big film lover, so let me hear. Oh, them. Uh, well, right now, uh, first of all, my number one favorite movie of all time. Yeah, I'll say all time. It's good. Oh. Wow. Okay, you're gonna hate yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, no, I probably. It's, 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 it's yeah. I mean, this is, this is my gun in my head. You're making me choose because, like, you know. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of classics I've never seen, and that's one of them. I've never seen Goodfellas. Mm. I know. I've never been interested in gangster films. It's just never been my cup of tea. Fair I never enough. seen Scarface. Oh, I know. All right, show's over. I got. <laughs> I, I got a problem with that because that's also that's like that's like my number two, number three favorite movie oh, is, is Scarface. Me. Yeah. I know how good it is. I've heard this a lot, and it's one of them ones I want to watch. I just, as you know, as you get older, man, it's hard to find the time. Yeah, it's yeah, because that's it, you gotta sit down. And, you guys sit down and watch it because there's a lot of exactly really classic bits in that movie. Yeah, uh, and like you, you gotta really watch that flick. You don't want to part watch it. No, no, you don't. Yeah, you don't want to sit there and be like, I gotta watch it before the show starts. You know, no, you want to, you don't want to exactly. relax. You don't want to smoke your blunt. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And have you a few drinks? You know. Snacks. I'm not. Shit. I'm not a big drinker either. Normally, I wouldn't be drinking. I just today I had that feeling. I was like, oh, I want to have a few drinks. Yeah, but I yeah, mean, I like, agree. Like, I like. Like I said, I'm a whiskey and cognac drinker. I like to sip. Yeah. So you know, now there was a time in my life where I could just knock a whole bottle back, no question. <laughs> I was a fucking <laughs> drunker. Yeah, I was a lousy drunk for like a long time, man. Um, and I just up and stopped drinking. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just one day I just was like, ah, I'm not gonna I just stopped drinking. I didn't drink for like like nothing. Like just no no beer, nothing for like maybe like three years. Mm. And then one day my buddy's having a birthday party and he was like, No, you're gonna drink with me tonight. And I was like, nah man, I am good. And he goes, He's like, Come on, bro. So, mm. you know, we had a few shots, you know, a couple beers, you know, and uh got hammered. And uh, yeah, obviously, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I woke up the next morning, like, ah, you know, I couldn't move. It was either gonna work the next day, it was just, yeah. You need to prepare for it, man, when you get older. Yeah, yeah. I would, like, I, if, I, if, I, if I had if I had the shit Wolverine had, then oh, I probably yeah. Would, yeah, I probably would like never not have stopped drinking, but yeah, that recovery I know that's what you shit, mean. That recovery, shit, yeah. Is, Bullshit, man. Fuck recovery. <laughs> <laughs> I was the same, man. I used to be able to drink all the time when I was like in my twenties. I could do it, and then like as soon as it got to like twenty nine, thirty, it just hit me. But well, there was a big gap when I didn't drink that much, and then I tried yeah. to drink and then realized like oh, I can't just drink like I used to be able to. <clears throat> but I also think as well, like, are you by any chance the kind of person that agrees that there's nothing like? I don't think the art of control is like just not having something ever again. It's being able to, if you want to have it, you can have it. But if you don't want to, you don't have to have it. Yeah, that's, and that's where I'm at now with it. Like, I don't have yeah. to. Like, before, like, it's like, it's like yo, I, did, I went every function I drank, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, there was always an empty bottle in my garbage can, you know, it's like, you know, so. And like I said, what, what made me stop drinking for the three years is I, I had, uh, uh, me and a homie went out. And we got we got shit faced, and I was a driver, <laughs> and I got in the car, started the engine. My last words to him were, "Yo, bro, we're probably gonna die on this one." Put the shit in reverse and took off. Now, thank God, nothing happened. I just don't remember none of my drive all the way home until I got home, and my dad tapping on the window. And say so he's gonna sleep in your car, huh? That and like <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. So after that I was like, yo, then my buddy told me yeah, when I dropped him off that he went he got in his car because he wasn't as drunk as I was, <laughs> apparently. So and yeah, yeah, that, me people would always say that. Yeah. He followed me home and like he's a he's a uh, I kept weaving, he tooted his horn, I'd straight back out, he followed me all the way to my house and then, then he drove back to where he lived at in Summerlin, which is uh, to give you an idea, he lives. He lives from me to where he lived at, like ten miles. So he drew, so yeah. 
So from the club to his house to the back to my house, then yeah, yeah. So he did a little extra driving that night. Well, I think good friend behind the road either. Yeah, but he was worried, so worried about me. And after that, I said, "Yeah, I'm gonna take a break on the drinking." And Fair I just enough. Yeah, yeah. I just stop. You know what you're like when you get to a certain point, so you don't like. Yeah, I I never yeah, drink to a certain that, point yeah. now. Like I'll go to the homie house, like you know, have a shot or two, you know. Say, yeah, yeah. You know, like even when I do comedy, like I just I get my uh, a beer, two beers, you know, say hey, maybe you know a mixed drink of some sort, and I'm done for the night. After that, it's just this is yeah, yeah, yeah. This weed. Is a l- it is a lovely thing though. I know exactly what you mean because I've had like exactly that. Like, um, never been able to drive. Like, no one's ever twisted me with a car. No one's ever gave me a license. I don't blame them. You probably shouldn't do. But um, with the learning to drink less and then just like now going out and I can actually, I've, I never understood it before in the past. People going out, drinking a couple of drinks. I'm like, why are you drink? You, you're getting that level and then you're going to feel worse when you go home. If you just keep drinking, you won't feel as bad and you'll have a lot more fun. Yeah. And now, <laughs> now I'm like, okay, now I get it. Now I'm older. Now, now you get it now, right? Yeah, <laughs> I get it now. Yeah, completely. You know, like, 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 I would just like I was the guy that would go to the bar, and there's like five of us kicking it, and I come back with like twenty shots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I and I'm mean. probably gonna have at least ten of those twenty. You know what I'm saying? So well, that's because um, they won't drink all theirs, though, ain't it? You wouldn't have to if they drank all theirs. I knew they were going to drink theirs. That's the problem. Yeah, still, I knew they were going to drink theirs. That's not the point, man. I just didn't want to keep running back and forth <laughs> to the fucking bar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're fucking... When you go to a club and stuff, I, I'm assuming it's the same over there. It's so hard to get to the bar and that. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Just, you know, get there. Just, hey, just give me the tray, bro. We'll just fucking come back and just play my thing. Or if, or if you can get the waitress to come by, you know... I've been trying to persuade a few of my older people to come back to a club just so we can try it again. Because you know when we do it now, we're just not going to be able to enjoy it and we'll just die. And it'll be funny. I'll get a few of the comedians. We'll record it, you know, put it on a YouTube channel. It'll be cool. Yeah, I mean, they'll they'll record it. It'll be funny to other people watching you guys. But Yeah, yeah. not for us. (laughs) Yeah, I got to be honest with you. Don't put yourself through it. Yeah, because... Oh, that's why not. Yeah, I I would... uh, see, because I'm 47. So seven years ago, I turned 40. I was actually 39. And I was... uh, Young lady, she says, "Hey, you want to go to a club with us?" <laughs> I said, "Sure, I'll go to the club." <laughs> and I get there, and they co- they they coach me into dancing. So I go out there dancing with them, blah 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 blah. Some workmates of mine, you know, we dance and dance and dance. And I was like, "Hey, man, I'm gonna go sit down, man." I'm we were sweating out my shirt. Yeah. Shit, I'm gonna go sit down, and have a little drink, whatever. So they said, "Okay," so they go over there, they're doing a the thing, and I'm sitting there and watching them, and I, I'm. You know when you get here, it's time to go home, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As soon as your hand touches the face, man, you know yeah, so you, you, do you need to go like, home. Yeah, because you're about to go to sleep. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. You're like, like I, I didn't, at 40, I was new to 40. But at 39, you might turn 40. I didn't know. I didn't know. I was I was new to being an uh, old guy. I man, I feel it now. I can't imagine what it's like for 10 years on it, in all honesty. Yeah. I, like, I'm 30 now. Like, I can't imagine what it's like for 10 years on it. I'm not going to lie. Oh, dude, it's... It's actually, you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. At, like, I'm 47 now, so at 47, it's 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 dope. My, I mean, yeah, like 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 it, it's really dope. Like 45 on it has been really awesome, mm. uh, and mostly because like I'm I'm learning more things about myself that I yeah. never took time to learn for myself before, and that that goes back to a whole bunch of man shit that we don't have time to unpack. Well, that, yeah, <laughs> I mean that's that that was kind of. The same way I was going, like in a different way, like more like um, understanding, like as I got older now, I understand more like, okay, I can't be drinking too much lager. I need to just have spirits. I can't be doing yeah. this too much. I need to just have this. You learn yourself yeah, as you yeah. get older. You know, I got to be more active. I need to go outside. That's why I got That's why I got my dog in the first place, so I can be more active and get out walking around and stuff. And now <laughs> that, now that's my dog way. is just as lazy as I am. That's the fucked up part about it. <laughs> the, dog, the dog takes on the traits of its owner, so now when I'm laying down, she laying down. She's surprised she's not in here right now looking at me in the face like, what are you doing? You know, what kind uh, of dog do you have? She's a, 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 she's actually, I just found this out, so don't think I'm being all bougie and shit. Uh, she is a bully jack. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that she was a breed. I just said because she's that she's a pit bull mixed with jack terrier. Yes, that was a cross. So yeah. that's all I would say all the time. Like, I didn't even know. And then one day I'm on YouTube. See, here we go. Here's YouTube. And fucking. 
it's YouTube's pretty great for information. I just want to shout out. So shout out to YouTube for it's good. Just double to, check it. Double check anything you see. That's all. Yeah. Oh, that's all you gotta do. Just, yeah, just you know, give a good, good facts run over. But uh, gonna find out that my dog, she's actually a breed, and Bully Jack is what she is. And there are other dogs running around here that look just like her that I've seen. So now, and the more I think about it, I was like, like now you're somebody now. Look at you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I had um. I just found it out, so please don't think I'm all like, like, like. Yeah, my dog's a bully. I'm, uh, just, I, I, I'm worse than that. I had um a uh, Yorkshire Terrier recently. Nice. Um, like um, we got him when he like a rescue thing. We got him when he was like eight, and he like died recently. But he was very peaceful, very happy at the end. He's in the back garden now. He's all warm up there. Uh, he, he was an awesome dog. <laughs> He's good. He's- He's gonna he's gonna become something. You know what's an interesting fact about dogs? Well, he will become something. Yeah, he probably will become something. Yeah. Well, dog. So here's here's a dope thing about dogs. Uh, dogs. Okay. So we all know dogs love unconditionally, right? This is mm-hmm. this is in their head. They don't know how not to love you. Okay. They, that's mm-hmm. what they do. They just love you. You can almost treat a dog like ever loving shit, and the dog will still be like, yeah, but will you pet me right here? Like, still be with you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh. And if you die in the house with your dog, your dog will just lay there and die with you. Or unless, but, it's a, unless somebody comes before that. I've heard it's if you have like a dog or and a cat in the house, the dog will wait literally to the point of starvation before he might eat, <coughs> eat your limb. He might not do as well, um, but the cat will literally, as soon as it's left, Mr. Meal, eat your eyes. Yep. Yep. Go right after you. Eat you immediately. Yep. Cats are psychopaths, man. Yeah, I fucking hate cats, though. <laughs> yeah. They're cute as fuck, though. That's the worst part about it. They do it on purpose. They're cute as fuck. They want to get yeah. in there. They'd be cute. They're the only <laughs> animal in the world that has um, domesticated themselves. Did Did you know they don't, if you think about it, they don't meow at all in the wild. They have evolved to meow just for us to get stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. They be they because they because because we like that shit. That's why they do it. Like yeah. they don't even they don't even really talk to each other. No, they, no, they, no. Like, yeah, they they, know, all this shit is body motion and shit. Like you know, what I'm saying they want to give some ass if they point their ass in the air and whoever says, "Hey, I'm with that," you know, that's how the cats get down and shit. But well, yeah, yeah but care. you you know how like some people try and say that some guys you know will like try and mark a territory and stuff. You know, wreck that pussy, as they say. Cats literally do that. Because they have barbs that wreck that pussy as they come out, and so nobody else can go there. Yeah, that's a fuck. That again, that, that's 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 that cat's pussy, bro. <laughs> man, cats are psychopaths, man. Cats are crazy, man. Fucking like, like when they say a cat can sit on your chest and take your <coughs> excuse me, inhale your breath. I believe that. I believe cats <laughs> <What>? are like <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. In in my family's culture specifically, like cats is like no, you had no cat in the house because the cat is my, for my for my great grandma on and all said the same thing. A cat will sit in your chest, like while you sleep, and suck your air in, like take your air away, like like while you're breathing. It's the Haitian culture. Yeah, that's oh, that's okay. like I, that's like some voodoo shit. Like <laughs> oh okay, yeah yeah. It's, it's not it's a lot. A it's a little people. bit of Buddhism in my family, yeah. So it's uh, a small people then. This, yeah, I don't this cats. Small, yeah, yeah. So we don't, yeah, we don't fuck with cats. Yeah. I've seen a lot of the Buddhists. Yeah. The Buddhist like, stuff, no, especially that's like where um, was it? Is it zombies come from voodoo originally? Yeah, is that Native American. Uh, I think it's voodoo originally, but it probably is Native mm-hmm. American because of the Skinwalker stuff and a few other things. Yeah. They've got, uh, they've yeah, got that, some weird shit they believe in. Yeah, they have some fucking proper. I did um, I do like a kind of conspiracy and like interesting topics podcast. And one of the last things we did was like skinwalkers and looking at some of the apparent videos of them. And some of them are creepy, man. Like, yeah, they're fucked up. Some of that shit's fucking weird, man. Like, yeah. the uh, what's that place? There's a place called the uh, Skinwalker Ranch. Yeah, I was yeah. just recently watched a documentary about that place out there. I think it was might have been Ghost Adventures, or it might have been just a documentary on it by itself. But regardless of the fact, though, yeah, they took some very compelling evidence in there, and it's all, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It was, it was, it was weird. I'm like, I'm never going there. 
I don't want to I'd love to go there, man, because it's like more weird. It's called Skinwalker, but it's more like alien stuff and that, isn't it? And like some poltergeist stuff as well, which is strange. Like a mixture of it all, man. That's what yeah. that, you know, so they got over there. So that was like, that's why I was like, I don't know if I'm going to fuck around there. I'll go <laughs> to some other sense. places, you know, I'll go check some other shit out. But I, like everything at the same time, I don't know if I could take that. I, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I, I've always had a different look when I look at ghosts. So to me, ghosts are like more kind of ripples through different dimensions. So that makes sense when I look at it over there, you know, because apparently yeah. it's a portal. I don't know how much I believe the whole Skinwalker Ranch thing in general, but yeah, no, I, I, that's what I said though. Like I'm open to everything. Like, like mm. I've, I've had, a, I've had, a, I've had a paranormal experience, a paranormal experience, my own self. Okay. So, yeah. Please tell. Um, uh, so my uh, my grandfather passed away when I was fairly young, and uh, I remember uh, at some point uh, my grandmother saying that she could like you know say that sometimes at night or early in the morning she could hear his keys uh, from him leaving to go to work. Yeah, and, like, yeah. At night sometimes she could hear the door like make a creaking sound like he's coming in because he always opened the door hella slow. Uh, he had arthritis in the shoulder. Well, one day my mom and dad are having this crazy argument. Like they're it's like it's the worst they've ever had. They're calling each other out their name. Uh mm. he she's all kinds of bitches, he's all kinds of motherfuckers and shit. This is a, a, a crazy. Yeah. Um and over time, like we all in the family, we all notice like certain candles would just kind of pop open. Um and we had the old uh remember the old water bottle joint? You put it, the, the big gallon of water on top of your deal. And then, uh, you know, get you a cup of water, the water cooler. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you mean, so yeah. Well, if oxygen gets, gets stuck in there, which can happen from the, the, the spigot itself, it'll burp. Mm-hmm. But yeah. ours will just do it. Like, we ain't got to touch it. It'll just, mm-hmm. it'll just do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this particular day, every cabinet in the kitchen flung open. That thing started going mm-hmm, like crazy and shit. Freaked me the fuck out. So I ran down the hallway into my room. And like sat on the bed and was covering my face because like I said they're fucking going shitty. And uh all of a sudden I can just feel the my bed cushion kind of sink in like somebody sat down next to me. You feel the weight across the sh- off my shoulders, like an arm around me. Hmm. And I did not for a moment feel any fear. Yeah, yeah. It just felt like Yeah, I like I, you I, know. I guess comfort is what I felt, yeah, you know. Yeah. But like, I never felt scared. Like nothing made me jump. I didn't. I didn't go. Like the initial sit down was like weird, but then like yeah, the arm came around me and stuff. And then I kind of came up, you know, out of my hands, and kind of like looked around. There's nobody in the room with me, and I still feel the presence on me. And then like my parents finally chilled out. Then the cl- they're closing cabinets and shit. They're like, "What the fuck is all this?" Blah, blah, blah. And then that whole moment went away. And I came out, and um, they were like, you know, sorry, you know, sorry, little man, you know, we, you yeah. know, we mean to scare you, all that good stuff like that. And I'm like, no, nah, that's cool, I'm good. That's quite awesome, like, that's yeah. So, so I love other goose Ever since then, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I had something, but it wasn't personal, which is why. I feel like I don't know, you know how you always question them and ask what you see and stuff. Yeah. Mine was like it's... I was in a graveyard, like just with some people and it was just like well I was, well, I was with some people and then some of the others went. Thought, sorry, I have to point out why I was in the graveyard, sorry. Um okay. we used to go yeah, in you there to just walk. In there by yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as as like walking tiptoe. <laughs> the few guys I, I used to chill with, like um to get from the one to the other, you had to walk through a graveyard and then there was a field we used to get to get to the other one, and we chilled on that field most of the time and in the little woods behind it. Yeah. And I was in the graveyard one time with the other one and everything just kind of went quiet and there was like bowels and then I saw a glowing figure by the grave. But and I was sober at the time, but now I get oh and now I get older, I question it still, and he thinks it wasn't that. Now he thinks he remembers it as a um, a bag that he saw, but I didn't remember it as that. But it's hard because when you remember stuff over time, like it kind of edits your memory of stuff every time you think of it. So it's hard to trust it now, you know. So having an actual personal connection with your one would be a lot more affirming. 
Well, <laughs> I don't believe we need just to clarify. <laughs> All right. I was, I was just saying I still believe in it. Like, even, yeah. like. I mean, it's it's easier to like that first time. I never really told anybody until like I got a little older and have had a few other things that I've seen. You know. Yeah. Over. You know. After that, and I, I've always been like I said, always been open to it ever since. Like, like there's there's something there. There can't be just. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Here and there, and then even as I got older and started, you know, uh, re- you know, reading, re- reading more and researching more, and yeah, reading, yeah, including yeah. the Bible and you know, and, and other and other religious books, and realizing that there, okay, spiritually there is more to this. Yeah, there is another an, an, another journey after this. I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm gonna have to die and come back and be like, yo, bro, <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you think it is. Like, <laughs> yeah. When you actually look at some of the evidence, there is a lot more evidence for there being something else after in a weird kind of way. I know it's very easy for people to say there isn't, but there is a lot of evidence for it. You know, and the problem is that with like people who don't believe in a, in 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 the uh, the more, I guess uh, we'll just say it that the people that don't believe that there is more, um, mm-hmm. they're caught up in the physical. They're not understanding that none of this fucking matters. Yeah. You know? And my, I've always used the, you know, when I when I get into the discussions, I've always said if I can burn it, <laughs> and it just burns away, it doesn't try and stop burning, it doesn't, it just goes away, it doesn't fucking matter, man. It, yeah, so the yeah. only thing that matters at this point is what human life. Because if I set you on fire, I'm pretty sure you're gonna stop, drop, and roll, my friend. I mean, you're not gonna. Stand oh, that's what you're saying, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. I'm just gonna just burn. You know, no, you're gonna try and stop yourself. So. uh the only thing that matters is life. And if I mistreat life, mm-hmm. you know, that's where I'm fucking up at. So yeah. like I tell people, like, yo, live your life, man. Enjoy what you've got. You know, mm-hmm. you know, wake up every day, be happy that you woke up. You know, if you rich, great. If you're not rich, work on trying to get rich. But other than <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be be yeah. glad that you're able to <laughs> be there to do that. You to know? do that, so, yeah, yeah. You know, be 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 happy to be present. I guess that's why it's called the present, yeah. man. Be be happy and, that you're present. Yeah, listen to everybody and like older people as well, because I've always already kind of realized that a little bit that like people always talk about the journey more in general rather than getting there with everything. Like even us right now, like we'll think about like past things and the journey to where we are now. We don't think about as much where we are now. Yeah, we gotta think about. So you gotta enjoy right? it now to appreciate it's it later. Now. Yeah, yeah, like like. All the other stuff is true. Yes, you if you you if you don't fix your past, I mean, if you don't deal with your past issues, which i.e. is go to therapy, you know what I'm saying, uh, let that shit out, have a good fucking cry, then when you're done, <laughs> fucking move on to the next fucking chapter, which is right now. Live in the now. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's cool to plan for the future because you don't know what's going to happen. Because of you, what? Don't know what's going to happen in the future. So uh-huh. meantime, teen time, while you're doing all that other shit, Right now, baby. You know, and the world could blow up in a week. Point left, just enjoy now, like you say. Yeah, I mean, really, I mean, like you could save a million dollars, and like you said, a meteor come down and just knock all this shit the fuck over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, where were you at? Yeah. Fucking work? What? <laughs> I might need to go give a shit, man. You know, because I'm telling you right now, the second I see something like this, there's gonna be a, 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 a distinction level event that happens on this planet. Yeah, I'm quitting that day. I'm not even no like. Like, are you coming to work tomorrow? What? It's not even going to be a planet by Friday. What? That's right. <laughs> Matter of fact, Maybe. I'm trying to figure out how to sabotage the launch because I don't want this shit to go wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm about to do all kind of dumb shit right now. We got Elon Musk. It? It's fine. What are you on about? All good. Yeah. <laughs> we got Elon Musk right now and then Mr. Beast will be president in like a few years. We're good. Do you turn 35? We'll right, yeah. <laughs> you guys sort it out, and then our guys will sort it out. It's like a domino effect. It'll be fine. Like I don't, I like I don't even know. Like I'm not even sure. Like why people are even like like right now. Like as it is right now. Like I don't even know why people are even mad anymore. Like like everyone should just be like, yeah, it's it's about time. Like 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 <laughs> like, like like that's. I mean like. Like when the whole okay, so like when the whole George Floyd and the BLM and just all all, all that stuff yeah. just came up bubbling over, like like 
was I mad? Yeah, I was pissed because like, but it, I wasn't pissed because that happened. I was pissed because like, damn, a fucking game. Like, like no one's no one's gonna stop this. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's not gonna say, hey, hey, hey. I think they know we're doing it. Like, I don't know why. Like that. That was that's what made me mad. It was that was the thing that had me most pissed off. Like, like yeah, it's like like not doing anything. You see that all over as well, don't you? Not even just that. You see that all over the world. It's like, why do people not yeah. care about stuff? It's like, exactly. That, that, that. I see that thing, and it just makes it makes me mad. And it's like, Dude. yeah. And then and, and then people all over again are either taught, learned, fucking, uh, 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 trained, you know, to to just not like other people. And yeah, tribal thing. Yeah. 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 Like. Like okay, like everything that's happening in the Middle East right now, I think I was no about to say exactly that. Then yeah, yeah, I think no one should involve them. So like nobody, like everybody should just be like, you know what, just leave them alone. Like just, just leave them the fuck alone. Let them just do what they're doing. I, mean, I would have done. I would have said it first, but then like yeah. I, I just don't understand what people don't like see with like Israel. Like it's like it's such a weird way to go about it. It'd be like the it'd be like if a guy had run in and kidnapped like your kids. And got in the yeah. back room, and then a load of police came in, and they were like, "Oh, give us the kid." And he was like, "No, holding the kid as a shield." And they were like, "Okay," and just shot through the kid at him. That's yeah. that's what Israel are doing. It's yeah, it's, it's going it's it's going crazy over there right now. And yeah, I really, like I said, it, it like every time I was like, "Why don't they just leave these people alone? Why don't they just just let them be over there?" Just because it's, it's that's yeah, what they created a mess to begin with. Well, what the thing though. Even if there was no involvement from any other government, I'm telling you, that, that's what it is over there. They're, they're, they're going to fight. That's what they're going to do. That's what they do over there. Leave them alone. Let them do that shit because <laughs> they're going to fight amongst each other as much as they want to, okay? And the moment another country gets involved, they're going to be like, hey, hey, well, okay, great. You're going to help us? Cool. And then we're going to help them and then and, and then win or lose, whatever, or Break even. I don't know. I don't know how war. I don't know what happens to hit the war anymore. I don't know. <laughs> There's some... I don't think anyone knows what happens with war nowadays. It's all yeah, war hands no up in the air right now. I have no clue how war ends. So, whatever that happens, now we're stuck with these guys. And then they're like, okay, leave us alone. We don't fuck with you no more. And then next thing you know, there's fucking airplanes crashing in the buildings, and no one knows why. And it's like, well, because we shouldn't have been fucking with them in the first place. Because they crazy over there. That's oh. what they do. They, yeah, that oh, that was they fight. Craziness. <laughs> have you ever seen like the Tower Seven stuff? No, no, no I, I actually oh. uh, have. The, I mean, just I mean, just just for that moment, but uh, I have closed my mind to the nine eleven stuff because, yeah. like, at this point, I'm like, like I said, I'm like, I don't even know why anybody's surprised about anything anymore. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Even, even if, like, even, even if the whole thing was a great big hoax, do you realize how many loss of lives happened just to say, "Hey, yeah. now we hate those people now." That's that's like, like that's literally what happened. Like now, we have to hate these people. And it's well, that's like, what happened you know, after. Yeah, yeah. Th- th- and it wasn't even the right the people thing. anyway. From what the yeah. evidence gave, like it was like, never the. Was it? That was when they went, like to Saddam Hussein and that. But it was. Bin Laden and no, bin I'm Laden not getting my fame wrong, you know. Bin Laden and like his brother and his kids and and the auntie and just like everybody was <laughs> like and, and and I keep thinking and I keep telling everybody like everybody's like all mad about it. And I, I, me and my buddy were talking. I said, I said, bro, I said, you know how long this has been going on? He said, what? I said, I, I said at least like seventy four or something like that. He was like, what? And I said, yeah. He goes like, this. he goes this. I said this right here. This where we're over there fucking fighting right now has been going on since like seventy four. He was like, what do you mean? I said, I said, yo. Mm. I said we sent motherfuckers over there to go teach these dudes how to fight. Now, now, yeah. CIA <laughs> made Al Qaeda, yeah. Now, 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 now. Here we are in 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 two thousands. Like. All surprised that these motherfuckers is like fighting back, <laughs> yeah. like is doing some wild shit now. Like, like you know, they they learned all this shit. They was cool just fighting amongst each other over there. Okay, every now and then they hijacked the plane going to wherever they was mad at. <laughs> okay, every now and then, but all we had to do was just kill those dudes, and they'll be like, oh, okay, wait, we're gonna stop hijacking those planes. <laughs> but no, what we do is we're gonna go help them out so that we can solve that problem. No, 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 let them fight. Let them. You know what's also strange as well, though? It's almost like they kind of like like the whole 
conspiracy minded people because that's one thing I like talking about on sorry on my podcast is um like the psychology behind conspiracy theories because you look at like all of that like if you take out the Tower Seven stuff to it and all like the archaeological society talking about like you know how it shouldn't have gone like that if you take that out of it you still got the question after Bin Laden when they finally got him why did they then not take a single photo of his body and just throw him out of a plane like what what, what how is that gonna help take a photo of the guy like prove he's there but well, you well, know just honestly katie to tell you the truth the, the, the point was it's not supposed to help you know yes. it's, i mean like if yeah we're gonna we're gonna go all the way weird with this if if you <laughs> weird point for me if 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 you if if you like you like getting blowjobs, I imagine, right? You, you've had one before; they're good, right? Oh, my son, of course. Yeah, yeah, blowjobs are awesome, right? So, <laughs> if every time you got a blowjob, you got say a thousand dollars every single time, how hard are you going to work to get that thousand dollars every time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not just okay. a blowjob, but a blowjob and a thousand dollars. Sure. Now, 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 here I come. Here I come. Getting the same exact blowjob that you're getting, that you're getting the same exact blowjob that you're getting, but, but, and, and you know what? Not even it's the same money. It's a thousand dollars. But every time you get, every time you pull your dick out, I put my dick in her mouth. No, you're just taking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, oh my I just, God, you're just taking it. I don't even say excuse me. I just go right in her mouth. <laughs> All right. Now you're standing there looking at me like, what the fuck did you just do? So. Now, aren't you gonna get now? Now, now you're gonna now. Are you gonna not fight me eventually? You think? Yeah. Right. Okay. So yeah. Eventually, you're gonna be like, "Hey, pal, the last time your dick touched my dick, and th- now we're gonna fight. That's what's gonna happen." Then Especially if you don't let me go afterwards. You know, I can be patient yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sure, yeah, I don't yeah. mind. You know. You know. Maybe you've got to be quick. I can. I, I can take time. I don't mind. So not only am I not only am I fucking up your way of living, I'm fucking with your money, and that and I'm not even like kind of fucking. With, I'm just coming in and just taking the shit. Yeah, 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 straight up. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go to war. That's what's happening over there. They're fighting over something that I don't even. I could just say, hey, 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 hey. Does she have another friend with a thousand dollars? Like, so that's all. That's all. That's all I have to do is say, hey, excuse me. Can I do? Can I do this with you? Like, you know, saying, can we get the money together? You know, type shit. Because if they did that over in those countries, then they would be okay. But that's not what's happening over there. These motherfuckers are just they're gonna keep fighting for that same blowjob for that same thousand dollars for the rest right. of their fucking lives to the end of days. Why? Because everybody likes a blowjob and everybody likes a thousand dollars. I.e., everybody likes fucking money and resources, and everybody wants to fight to get the shit. You know what I'm saying? But they need to learn to share the blowjobs. They're not. They're not gonna share the blowjobs. But they need to learn to. We can all people, learn to share. Yeah, if they can learn to share. It'd be a little different story. You'll say, I mean, if, you, if, if one yeah. time you would go first and then the other time you'd let me go first, it would work yeah. a lot better. Yeah, but but at the same time, we now we both got a thousand dollars, or at least we both got 500 because we went 50 50. Oh, you know? I see, I see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, now, now we're getting now we really get the money together because now we're taking our 500 dollars, we're putting our 500 dollars together, and then like to the end, I'm like, yo. I'm gonna go take this money that we got. I'm gonna put it over here. You be like, cool. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the blowjobs. You get the blowjobs, and I come back. And you go with the money, and I get the blow. You know what I'm saying? We keep yeah, the money yeah, exactly. This shit. And that's what would be happening over there. That's what we'd like to happen here in the United States. But the problem is, uh, the wrong people are sucking the dicks and, and giving the money. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We have that issue here too. It's sour. It's sour. That's all I got. Yeah, yeah. They're keeping sour. all the dick sucking for themselves. Like, we don't get the dick sucking. The people high up get the dick sucking. Yeah, they're getting a dick sucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. You know but over there, everybody's fighting for the dick sucks and the fucking money over there. And yeah. that's what's supposed to happen. We but might get the odd tongue. Right, right. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> the occasional bukkake may happen, but it's still gonna oh, be no, no, no. everybody's that's gonna be still safe. Is. Yeah. You know, so now the only solution to that, in my eyes, is A, leave the mother everybody pull the fuck out, let leave the motherfuckers alone. Build a cage around them if you have to, you know. Leave <laughs> 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 they ass, don't give them shit because they is look, they obviously I mean I mean have you met a sheik? Them motherfuckers got money, bro. They got their money is a little retarded. Oh, they're into wrestling, man. Like oh, I've had some yeah, good wrestling yeah. chats with I, I love yeah. my wrestling. When I was a when I was a young man, I used to work at a go-kart track and I met the Sultan of Brunei. 
Oh. And the Sultan, yeah, the Sultan of Brunei uh, at that time was one of the richest people in the world. And they were riding go karts with his family. And we were talking, me and my friend Marcus were talking to him at the gate. And so we asked him, so what are you going to do, you know, the rest of the time here in Vegas? He goes, uh, I'd probably buy apartments, uh, high rise in New Trump Towers. My son's old enough to drive now. I'm just going to buy him Ferrari. <laughs> and, we, and we're looking at him like Ferrari for real, bro. Your kid's like 15. What are you talking about buying a Ferrari? You know, we we we're like scrimping together money to pay for our fucking late model fucking cars that we got from the lady down yeah. the street. You know, <laughs> he's gonna go buy his kid a brand new Ferrari. Like, oh, I'm like, 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 you're buying gum. Like, I'm gonna go buy my kid some gum. I'm getting my kid a Ferrari. And we're gonna go probably go gamble, <laughs> oh buy gosh. some property. <laughs> Meet the president. Like, like the what? The <laughs> meet the president. Yeah, meet the president. <laughs> well, that's it was Trump. He might, if it was you Trump, know, he might have met him. So there's, there's, there's no lack of money over there. Everybody got money. So just leave them alone. Let them fight. Tear up the shit they go fucking tear up because it's gonna get fucked up over there. And and that's that. Now, or and you can have a strong leader to do that over the next coming years, being either Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Thought it. I think Donald Trump <laughs> would be the one that'd be like, you know what? Fuck them and do what I think they should. Oh do. yeah, he do that. Yeah, just, just go ahead and just nuke the place. Just turn it into glass. Just not, just fuck it all. <laughs> just just kill everybody. Over there. Just because like uh, just, just, like like nobody's or, complaining or, anymore. Yeah, just 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 wipe it all out. Because think about this. And, 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 and my reason for that is even more pettier. So that every so that I can stop talking to people at work about. Why should I not back Palestine? Why should I not back Israel? Why should I even give a fuck? These are the conversations I have to have at work, and I'm like, I'm like, I don't even know why you're talking to me about this. But I don't care. Like, do where do you work? Just, like, huh? where do you work? I work in a bar. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bartender four days a week. Well, people, people in your bars are a lot smarter than the people in my bars. People in yeah. my bars just want loads of drinks, handing at them, and just they're on the floor. British oh, yeah, people no, like for, to drink like a lot. Oh yeah, no, for the most part, well, so, uh, we have gambling here too. So you know, say so they gamble and they drink. You know, you know, say so for the most part, you know. But uh, I got those occasional people that come in. They want to talk to me about it. It'll be on the news or whatever, and I just be like, I don't even know why we just don't blow the whole place up and call it a day. No, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> See, I would love those kind of conversations to come to be a superpower this bitch too. I mean, <laughs> that's what I would do. I would just get on TV and be like, "Hey, look, if y'all calm down over there, I'm a nuke y'all. That's what's gonna happen. We'll blow you." Well, that, that's what you want. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, that's yeah. what you need. Like a strong person, a strong yeah. president to be like, "Yo, cut the shit out." Yeah, but Joe not, Biden is a nass. Like, yeah, he's not gonna do it. No, he's not gonna do it. He's, nah. he's, he, he probably did it and then forgot to say it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like we have is, terrible politicians over here too, so it's in no way like it's been very fun watching Joe Biden. No, good, I'm, glad, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Well, no, <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, I, first of all, I gotta be honest with you, I've, I've seen your parliament, I cannot take that. That's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah as a shit, man. Oh, like, we haven't even like, got food. I just, I just recently watched, I just recently watched the motherfuckers like go hands in full garb, like with the wigs and everything, was in their scrapping, like, yo, really. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what it, it just. It, I, there was no context, anything to this. To, to, to this. Yeah. It, just, it, just, it just popped up on my feet. I was like, "Is that Parliament acting like that? Like, <laughs> y'all supposed to be like hella like?" <laughs> and oh, I man. Just, 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 just watched it because I was like, oh, "This is great." The wigs are flying. Awesome. They're fucking idiots, honestly. <laughs> they're, they're fucking idiots, man. Somebody recently, one of the guys got done for um for watching porn in there. I know that was oh. a thing. Oh Jesus! Not paying attention to work for real. <laughs> so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I. <laughs> you have like um like England and then you have like the city councils that do each city and my city is Birmingham um and my city council just went bankrupt twice oh that happens not twice <laughs> I don't know how it happens twice but it happened I mean I gotta be honest with you, but I'm sure I'm sure it's happened here in one of our governments around here I'm, I'm sure there's been some bankruptcy. I know here in our in, in Vegas, uh, there was a lady, and I met her. She's a total bitch, but goddamn, she was ooh, she was stealing her ass off. She was <laughs> she was, she was yeah, she was taking money out of the, the out of the fucking uh, out, out of the uh, 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 out of the money out of the bank. In front of the yeah, Bible. yeah. Gucci purses and shit. Meanwhile, this bitch is riding around in a fucking uh, hover around scooter with an oxygen tank and shit with a Gucci purse. 
I'm like, no, we can't. There's no. And I met her, and I was like, I was like, how y'all even hire this bitch? She's terrible. She's a like I met her in person. I was like, I was like, that's who that that's that's the that's the city council person y'all talking about. I was like, yeah, oh, oh. they should have hired her. She's a bitch. Like I was like, I could have told y'all she ain't shit. She... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, it's always the old ones that are the craziest ones. Like. She's toxic. Yeah. <laughs> she's, like, she's toxic, that one. Mm-hmm. These guys hired her to do the city council as head in city council? Oh, shit. That's what, no. Nah, that's like, yeah. I know our parliament, our parliament got in trouble for um, telling everybody during like the pandemic that you couldn't like do all the stuff. But then we're like, somebody got a camera in there of them just getting like book crazy junk, like, you know, together in a place. Oh, the fucking the, that fucking time, yo! All all I heard, like I was an essential worker, so I had to, I had to still go to my job. Like, yeah, you know? yeah. And uh, I'd get to work. You know, we do our thing, and the people would call. I'm working a call center for uh, healthcare. Yeah. And they, these people would call. They just be so mad. They can't. They go. They go outside. I told one lady, I said, "What are you What are you doing going outside for?" Just like that. <laughs> she goes, well, I gotta get my prescriptions. We'll mail them to you. <laughs> what am I right now? I'm like, well, uh, well, go back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they closed. That's what I can tell you. Because the pharmacy was closed. Do they? They you know, say you can only uh, go through drive through and she doesn't have a car, so she has to go inside. I'm like, you have to walk up to the window. And that's what I told her. So I said, well, why don't you walk up to the window? I called. Her, I said, hey, if she walks up to the window, you guys give her medication. She was like, yeah. was it come to the window? Yeah, I guess so. We got a line. <laughs> I said, okay. I thought I said, hey, they got a line over there, but you can wait by the window. <laughs> They'll get you when they can. Man, freaking McDonald's over here are like crazy about that. They will not let someone walk in oh. through their drive through yeah. Never. It, they would never allow it. You can go there at like 3 a.m. after having a good night, and they would dampen your night. They would not let you do it. Well, no, what? Go get a car. <laughs> Well, you, you haven't got a car. <laughs> I've just got my first vehicle and it's outside because I bought a bike, a motorbike, and I've just learned there's like so much more red tape than I thought and all these extra things I've got to get. Ridiculous, okay. man. I understand why so many people drive illegally because there's so much you have to get. Oh, yeah. I mean, the license and stuff, sure, but it's every all these like three or four other things. Like, calm down. It's just, it's just, it's just something to move. That's all it is. That's it. They don't want you to enjoy your drive. They don't want you to be driving. Let alone enjoy it. <laughs> like, well, you can buy it real easy, right? Like, it would be amazing if aliens came down and looked at the stuff that we drove around on. Like, we're driving around on things like we're making explosions to push us along. Yeah. It's, so it, it, it's not the most apt way of getting about, you know. Well, I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I used to ride the bus. I had a car and I rode the bus and I got a car again and fuck, fuck public transportation all the way around. Yeah, I've heard I get in a bus for you guys in America is a much worse experience. No, I mean, if our buses were like cool looking at least, but no, they, no, no, fuck that. Fuck, I thought we, I will, no, I'll quit a lot my ways. job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess the bus, nah, I'm just gonna lie. I'm gonna sell drugs. I'm gonna sell drugs right there now. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Live in a hood. I ain't gonna go nowhere. Fuck riding the bus. I'll never do it again. All right, I'm gonna jump out in a sec anyway. Uh, do you wanna throw out your plugs and stuff before we head off? Um, yeah. Uh, well, of course, uh, out to my company partner, Doughboy. I think I woke him up with all this. Uh, he was sleeping just now. Uh, catch us uh, randomly on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, it is the Two Niggas Smoking Weed Podcast, uh, 2NSW, aka the Four Blunt Show, brought to you by Two Niggas Smoking Weed. Uh, shout out to uh, our entire staff. Uh, shout out to me. Shout out to you, KD. <laughs> shout out to uh, shout out to Brenda Brown and the Sauce in the City community. Uh, shout out to my uh, 2NSW uh, community. Uh, shout out to every comedian in the world out here in Vegas, out there in and, uh, I like that. Across the world. Uh, uh, that's it, really. Yo, go. Um, I, I will echo that too. Much love to everybody. Just, just people willing to get up on stage and try and be funny. It's a hard thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? No. Keep coming. <laughs> 
you know, it's it's very easy to get off stage and do it. Keep do coming it. back. To keep coming back is a hard part. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. Um, yeah, for myself, just everything at KD Comedy as always, and for anyone watching from uh, England, Birmingham, wise, uh, every Tuesday, 2 till 3 p.m. on Twitch Radio with your boy doing all the music <laughs> shit, you know. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> a podcast over KD Comedy Podcast. Uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. Much love. Thank you very much, NJ. All right. Yeah, it's been fun. I'll end the recording. All right. <laughs>